My name is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie. I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make $100,000 a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, because all I pick is winners. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks. Money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're tuned into the VIP Sports Podcast. I'm Steve Stevens, a.k.a. Stevie Wells, a.k.a. The Bookie Killer. Sitting here with my co-host, backed by popular demand, my man, Big Ron Murkison. We call him Big Merck. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Absolutely. Hello, America. Hey, what's going on? The fans Let's get demand into it, baby. It. Well, first of all, I want to say thanks for coming back to the show. Hey, hey, man, it's it's my pleasure, man. <laughs> it's my pleasure, really. I'm I'm honored to be here, dude. To you, be sitting here with the big man. Absolutely. Hey, you you and Skip tore it up. You guys had a lot of interaction on that podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, the people were demanding that you came back. And, you know, considering me and you got that Vegas connection. Oh, yeah. Well, I had to bring you back one more time to ride along with me for the show. You yes, know what sir. I mean? Yeah. Guys, understand one thing if you guys are just tuning in. Big Skipper hasn't went anywhere. Skipper is the president of operations of this company. He's a fucking owner. He ain't never going anywhere. You guys get enough of our podcast all year. And trust me, he'll be back and you'll get enough of him one more time. Right now, he's handling the sales room, doing what we need to do, which is make our clients money during baseball. Putting the work in, man. I mean, Ron, uh, you do security with him out at night. I mean, obviously, he's doing some pretty good work right now. Oh, yeah, he's doing really good work. He's, got he's a room. beast. He's a beast. He's just a beast, man. But I'm just letting our, our, our fans know out there, they're looking to get me and Skip in the same room together. That's my man. You're going to get plenty of those podcasts coming up, but the show's got to go on. And right now, he's building our room and breaking numbers with winning games, and the board's lit up like a Christmas tree. So we need him in the sales force right now. In the meantime, got my man, Big Ron Merck, riding with us. We're going to have a fantastic show. A great time. Man. I can't wait to talk. We always to have a great time. Man, everywhere we go, every other city we go, <laughs> just another A plus show. Yes, sir. And you talk shit will take your hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Back by popular demand, it's April 25th, 2019. Gorgeous day out here in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. The weather is absolutely phenomenal. I just did a uh, Rolls Royce cam about transitioning into the springtime. Mm-hmm. A lot of salesmen out there find excuses not to go to work when you have weather like this oh, out there, Ron. Oh, my God. But so you, many. Yes, yes, indeed. So you got to fight through the demons, take your ass to work, yep. get the job done. There's always plenty of time to party and mm. celebrate. You Make know what I mean? Make the money first, man. Make the money first. You got to get the money. It's, it's all a about great time the, of year, too. It's, I mean, you got the hockey playoffs. Yes, you got sir. everything going on. Yep. You got basketball going on. You got the draft today. Uh, th- speaking of the NFL draft, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, if you don't mind, what your experience was and how you felt and where you were on draft oh, day. Oh, man, there were some memories for you right there. Can you remember back that oh, far, Big Merck? It wasn't that long ago, bro. Hey, it seems like uh, seems like it was yesterday, man. It was a very, very nervous time. Told you we're going to have a good show. Very and nervous time. NFL in full effect. We're going to see exactly how a true NFL player feels during draft day right here with my man, Big Merck. As you guys know, the show is brought to you every week by our boys over there at mybookie.ag. Yes, sir. Shout out to my bookie. Uh, I can officially uh, announce it. They became on as our full sponsor. I told you that a couple sports mm-hmm. books were fighting for that top spot. Mm-hmm. And I also told you I wasn't going to allow a bunch of sports books as sponsors. We're bringing CBD and a lot of different guys aboard. Exactly. And uh, my bookie, uh, you did it. You're the only sports book that we're going to represent right now. Uh, and uh, we're going to go get it. Uh, we want to give a shout out to you. Advertising opportunity, by the way. Uh, If you're watching or listening to the podcast, you own a small business, work at a company, interested in getting involved in this booming sports betting industry. Booming. Send us an email to advertising at VIPSportsLasVegas.com. We'll get back with you with all the details on how you become a sponsor of the show. Uh, Today's show, we're going to do a little entertainment news, major league segment. We're going to talk about the NFL draft, NHL playoffs, 
By the way, uh, the Golden Knights got absolutely fucked. Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> New Orleans, we know exactly how the fuck you feel now. Yeah, well, it was, we got it raw, too. Uh, we got no, New Orleans. No Vaseline, how we got screwed on that one. These motherfucking refs, like I said, and then they tell us today that, uh, well, these refs were suspended for the next level. Mm-hmm. Well, what the fuck does that do for us, Big Mark? Nothing. Hey, I don't like to complain, but that's ridiculous. You get a five-minute major to change game seven the way it was, and, and it's obvious that uh, it wasn't that big of a deal where you should get a five-minute major, allow the other team in, let alone let them in, let them win the game. Uh, so they suspend them. That's why in a situation like that, I feel in a game seven only, mm-hmm. like we talked about off the air, mm-hmm. there should be like five judges that something like that goes to, mm-hmm. and they vote on it. You got three or more people that approve it. You play game seven again. Yeah. In a situation like that with a bad call, look at the New Orleans Saints. Oh, my God. Anything under two minutes should be the same thing in the fourth quarter in the I, NFL. I've always thought since I was young, because they, they try to have you play the game and make sure you're playing it with integrity and you're doing it fair. And, and they always preach that, you know, the better team comes out. Well, if you're going to preach that, then go ahead, go ahead and practice what you preach. Goddamn you right. Know, if, you're, if you're the best league... Uh, the top league in all of sports in your perspective sport, then go ahead and do what's f- fair. Do what's right. It's not fair to the fans. It's no, not fair it's not. To, to the people out there. You should be able to revisit what's done wrong. You get tucked to court if something's wrong or if, or if you were done the wrong way, you get an they appeal. can turn it around. You can get an appeal. You can get an if appeal. If it was me or you, I doubt it, but so, uh, most uh, people could get an appeal. So now when these owners and these, these coaches and teams, when they put in an appeal, all you get back from the, from the league is oh we're sorry we messed up we screwed up well if you if you messed up and you screwed up then fix it you heard what the fuck he said then fix, fix it. it but anyway New Orleans Saints born and raised Vegas third generation all of our Vegas night fans know exactly how you guys feel out there in New Orleans exactly and it shouldn't be held by one ref a championship held in the hands of one fucking ref. Yeah, that's the way it's been for a long time. It, it actually, needs to be probably changed. used to be, yeah, it used to be worse years ago. People would just live with it. I know it makes for drama, it makes for history, but like you, you said, you ain't doing man, that shit to us. Do out the here right in Vegas. thing. Do the right thing. Well, plus, we're from Vegas. You ain't bamboozling us like yeah. that, man. That was some straight bullshit. Yeah. And you know it. Like I said, and like you said, it's not just Vegas. It's every everywhere. team that got done that way that we're talking about. We're not just crying because we're out here from Vegas. It's every team from the Saints through the rest of them through history, they got screwed on something like that. It's a sad thing. So, you know, I wish we could adjust it. Well, as as Vegas boys, Ron, like I said, you spend a lot of time out here. I do got to give a shout out to the Vegas Knights. They kicked ass. They had a championship fucking team. Like I said, you guys should still be in the playoffs without any shot of a doubt. Even guys like me, Mm -hmm. we talked about off air, Steve, in the beginning of the year, you were like, look, you know, be careful from them. Uh, who knows exactly. if they'll make the playoffs this year. It's their sophomore year. I even doubted them at first. Oh, and yeah. they did slowly have a slow start. Oh, yeah. There but, was a lot of doubt. People said they were finally going to be that expansion team that didn't overachieve, that struggled like everyone else. And they fought through it. They showed that they're a championship caliber type team. So all uh, nothing nothing but good things to say about that team. And we shouldn't give them a lot of credit, man. They're an awesome team. I don't know which one of our players ran a train on one of the commissioner's fucking daughter <laughs> or something. But my God, guys, you robbed us blind. Oh, my Shout God. Shout out to a phenomenal season. Flurry, you're by far the best goalie in the world. Congratulations for Thank you for representing Las Vegas. Guys, we're just going to have to take the L. It is what it is. We'll move on to the next round. Everybody knows that we were robbed. It is what it is. Go home, hang with your families, do what you do, and stack that paper. Get ready for next year to kick some fucking ass. Yes, sir. And I learned a lesson, too. I got to have my teams back. You know, I'm not used to having a hockey team. Remember, I was UNLV forever. Oh, yeah. Now someone mentions UNLV basketball. You're like, who? Who? Exactly. Embarrassing. It is. Right, that can, we could do another whole show on that. But we well, we've been waiting a long time for a pro f- franchise, and we're going to get another one here soon. So, you, you know, shout out to all those fans out there that, that stuck with your you that stuck it. with your teams even through the worst spots. Uh, you got to have respect for for fans like that. That's what it's all about. You've been in the league, you know, but you go. It's it's kind of hard for a, a born and raised Vegas boy yeah. when we haven't had any teams on how to support. But yeah, you can't be no halfway no, fan. No, you can't be You either got their back or you don't. And you ride with them from the beginning to the fucking end. You can't be a fair weather fan. Correct. Fair weather fan. You only want to be, that's just like a relationship. A fair weather A fan. fair weather wife. <laughs> or you only want to be with me when I'm good and I'm exactly. bringing home, you know, buying you diamonds and a new car and, and giving you all my cash. But as soon as you hit a tough spot, what are, 
you know, if you got that type of wife or if you're that type of fan, that sucks. Not sucks to mention, you. you know what I'm a fan of, right? What's that? Money. Oh, so yeah. as long as I don't give a fuck who it is, it could be a cat piss fucking contest. I don't care what it is. It could be two strippers slapping the shit out of each other. <laughs> as long as I got the information and it pays, yeah. that's all that matters. Was, and it, that's, it, what I t- that's why I told one of your strongest clients recently. I told him, I said, I don't care if it's two grandmas fighting. As long as uh, we got the information and, and, uh, and they're letting us bet it, hello? I want to be on the right side. Let's hello? get paid. Let's money. Get paid. Money. Let's that's get paid. all that matters. <laughs> and like I said, if you're just tuning into this podcast, this is all about sports betting, ladies and gentlemen. This is the number one sports betting podcast on YouTube. We tell you guys who to bet. It's a spinoff of my show, Money Talks, I had on CNBC. Uh, brought you into my life of a guy that bets big and lives larger. Uh, I am the best sports consultant money can buy. I'm third generation, born and raised out here in Las Vegas. And it's my job to teach not only amateur sports bettors, but experienced sports bettors mm-hmm. what the formula for success is in sports betting. Oh, yes. What to look out for, uh, what to stay away from, how to, what we said last week, pick your spots. Oh, yeah. You got to pick talk, your spots. You and Skip talked about a lot of underdog money there oh, in the yeah. beginning. Oh, yeah. Not only were the underdogs covering the spread, but winning outright. Oh, of course. Could and you imagine? The NHL, too. The segment uh, that he was talking about, that the NBA and the NHL, the spots in the NBA, the NHL, we, we said there were going to be some tough matchups, and that plus money was there. Absolutely. And that plus money was definitely there. So one thing about us, guys, we're going to make you better sports bettors no matter what. We don't go over every game. It's not my job to preview every game on the board. The reason why I do a podcast is to bring you into my life. I show you guys traps that the sports book's doing. I I show you guys different ways to make money and things to look out for. I'm not just some guy sitting on a computer handicapping. I work directly with players, coaches, CEOs, and the guys that make the line. There's a big difference between a guy that thinks uh, he's a sports better, claiming to be a consultant, or just a flat-out sports better. Mm-hmm. You got to be careful on Instagram. All these guys claim to be uh, sports consultants. They're small-time sports betters. Half of them aren't even betting. 90% of them don't even live in Las Vegas, and the other 10% don't even know what the fuck they're doing. Well, that's correct. It's a very tricky business. You got to surround yourself with solid people. Big Merck, you wouldn't be around me in the organization if I was some type of joke. That's definitely true, and and there's some people that that use other other tactics I'm not, I'm not a big fan of uh, personally. But also there's some guys out there who try to compete with you because you're yeah. real. Well, the biggest um, in the that, game, you that got I to. still respect. I still respect certain people. Yeah. I'm allowed to do that. I have my opinion, I, and I'm very upfront. You know, I've always been upfront. Always thing I loved opinions. you about, but And that's what I love about this, uh, uh, about you and VIP, is you guys are real. You and Skip are real. I'm able to be myself, be upfront. I wouldn't be any other way anyways. Nah. And then the way you guys handle business. You well, know, you, you guys go hardcore. You never give up. You, uh, even if there's a bump in the road, we go right over that bump and start fucking speeding down the way. I love your attitude. You've been with the family behind the scenes for a long time over oh, yes, here at VIP, sir. Big Ron. We appreciate you. Anyway, like I said, you want to get a hold of us? A lot of fraud out there. 877-220-6540. If you're looking for a free pick, go to our website, VIPSportsLasVegas.com. We have packages for all size shapes of sports bettors. Let me give you guys an interesting fact real quick. New Jersey, it came out today. The revenue is back for New Jersey. New Jersey did 50% revenue of what Las Vegas did last year. Oh, my goodness. Their revenue is already up to 50% of Nevada. Hey, shout out to all the East Coast uh, bettors out there. You guys Call always me. been in the game. Hey, there's some big boys out there. And even the small ones, just collectively a lot of big money out there. But there's a lot of big guys with big paper that don't have to go through the guy that knows a guy at the bookie parlor down exactly. there and have to deal with all the bullshit. Yeah, I, Those big boys can come right out, get in their car, yeah. go to the book and get that money. That's in. something I'm real happy about, that they get to take their own money. They don't have to deal with somebody that's going to do something or say something or threaten something. The book. Yeah, go to the book, handle your business, get, your, get paid, get your money. You know, we always love beating the book. Um, we don't have to beat the bookie as much now out in that area. Beat the book, get that money, get Period. paid. And more importantly, like I said, that's how bigger players are coming out of the woodwork. Oh, yeah. As you know, uh, bigger whales and, and guys that don't want people in their business and CEOs of companies, mm-hmm. they, don't, they don't come out and they don't want to deal with a bookie. They don't want to get in trouble. Mm-hmm. So now these guys are able to sneak on over to the yep. casino, put money in account, exactly. get their online app, yep. and get their games in right there. Uh, anyway, uh, proposed to be another six states mm-hmm. legal in the next 60 awesome. to 120 days. I know you're moving on. I just want to bring up one other good point. 
You don't have to worry about getting paid when you're dealing with a legitimate institution also. You know, you know, we don't have to hear that story. All oh, my book, he didn't, you know, he, he didn't pay gave me. me this. He didn't pay me. And that happens a lot in the business because there's some frauds out. Ronnie, how many times they gave you that rebuttal when you was hitting the phones? Oh, oh my God. You hit like fucking four or five, six games. All of a sudden, my bookie won't pay me. I'm five. You've been on our phones. Yeah, you know, you're right, man. We're five and one. Yeah. Uh, we made five grand. Bookie paid me, so I can't pay you. Exactly. Well, it, you guys know dealing with me, my deal's with you, not the bookie. But it eliminates the bullshit. Yeah. You hit it right on the head, man. Yeah, and, and, it takes away from the bullshit. Well, and it also takes away their excuse. So mm-hmm. don't come up with no bullshit as excuse when you're getting paid right from the book. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Anyway, uh, if you're watching this podcast on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our channel. When you click the subscribe button, make sure you also hit the bell so you choose to get notifications of everything we do. Uh, We appreciate all your thumbs up. We read every one of your comments. I'm doing Rolls Royce cam again, uh, sports book reviews, the whole nine yards. Uh, You can listen to the podcast uh, at VIP Sports Las Vegas on Alexa. Uh, You can go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, podcast and any other major podcast platform and uh you know it makes me feel good when i say alexa play that vip sports podcast <laughs> yes, my son loves that <laughs> shit if money talks that shit kicks oh, in yeah. little d's like yeah dad that's you on youtube what's up <laughs> shout out to my son little that's d cool, shout out man. to sean they're getting a little youtube channel together oh, yeah he, the great kids man well not to mention don't you think uh, uh them youtube and in my house we're, we've got a pretty lively family over there big oh Ryan. definitely dude <laughs> Definitely. They'll blow up. The all, best, they, dude. all they got to do is turn on the recorders. You know what I mean? Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, listen, guys, I've exploded lately on Instagram. It's not a secret. I appreciate all of our new followers. I appreciate everything uh, you guys have done for my company. And in return, I will keep breaking these fucking bookies. I'll mm-hmm. keep continuing to make you a second income and doing whatever it takes to get the job done. Remember, I'll hit the home run. All you need to do is run the bases. Yes, Plain sir. and fucking simple. Let's get into a little uh, celebrity news. But before that, I want to talk about that NFL draft. Okay. As you know, NFL draft is in full effect. Now, if I'm not mistaken uh, there, Big Merc, the draft isn't too far away from your hometown. Oh, no, no. The drafts, uh, I actually was born in Clarksville, Tennessee. The draft's 40 minutes away from uh, Clarksville. It's in Nashville this year, which I think is really cool. That's Absolutely. cool for everybody in that state. Cool for, my, for, cool for all you people down south. It's, it's good that they changed it up and they're having it out there instead of always being East Coast New York or something like that. The environment's definitely changing. Yo, it's definitely changing. They need to. You know, the, the NFL's caught, caught a lot of flack the uh, last couple years from different type of fans for different reasons. I've always been a fan. Like, I, when it comes to me and you, as far as when it comes to politics, I don't talk about it too much. So I love that the, the NFL is trying to open up, you mm-hmm. know, broaden the horizon they a little bit. They need to. You know, going to Nashville, changing it up a little bit and making everyone feel involved. I, I think that's really cool. Not to mention, man, how many players are from the South, Big Oh, Bert? a ton, man. The South makes a up ton. a lot of the NFL, bro. Oh, yeah, it does. All those SEC players, man. Let's go get that Southern hey, cooking and enjoy shout out to all the SEC players. Even though I went to Colorado, shout out to all these, uh, <laughs> the SEC players down there. I mean, they always play good ball down there. Um, a bunch of great players overall, especially uh, defensive players. I, I was a defensive player, so I'm a little partial. But shout out to all the uh, kids that are going to get drafted here now. Uh, congratulations on, on your next step in your, uh, in your career. Um, good job. Remember to give yourself as much credit as you actually deserve. You guys made it happen, so hopefully you're rewarded properly on this draft. Absolutely. That's coming a guy that's been through the game, youngsters. You better listen to exactly what he's saying. Keep your mind right, stay focused, because a lot of bad things can come along with the good things. Oh, of course. So you got to stay focused. Now, Ron, I want to go back to uh, draft day wasn't that long ago for you, bro. It could not have been that long. (laughs) 1998. Which ain't that long ago. 1998. My old ass graduated graduated Uh, high school in 92. You know, I was singing like an old school Tupac song the other day, like in the sports book, and the the kid looked at me like I was ancient or something. It's like I'm I'm singing an old song now. Oh, fuck yeah. Exactly. We both pocket big and they're like, damn, Grandpa, that shit is old. I was singing I Ain't Mad at You, and Uh, he was like, what? Like, what? (laughs) What the hell are you singing? So, 1998. Draft yep. day. Now, NFL draft, what do you remember about the draft uh, that more than anything? I remember a lot about the pre-draft, uh, going to have to work out for teams. The day of the draft, this is a crazy story about me. The day before, it was either the day before or two days before the draft, the Kansas City Chiefs called 
Call me at home. Calling you right at your home. Call phone. me at home, and this will show you. There's how no things cell phones. Are. They're calling you at the house. Yeah, they're calling me at home. <laughs> Unless you got one of those big cell. The block. Right? Oh yeah, we had the blocks. Yeah, but the small ones just start coming in. But either way, they called me at home, and they wanted me to go get an X-ray on my hip. So I'm thinking to myself, like I've never had a major injury on my hip in uh, college, but I did get injured when I was in college, and um, in the hip area. But they told me everything was okay. So here I am sitting. And my, my agent's telling me I'm probably going to go on the first day, probably late first, maybe second round, something like that. Um, Mel Kuyper, before my senior year, what before I got fuck? injured, he had me ranked as the number one right. outside linebacker in the nation. Ugh. So two days before the draft or a day before the draft, they had me go take this x-ray. And I'm like, well, I'm good. Like, yeah, there's the nothing wrong I? with me. I'm right. good. I go take the x-ray. So I went and tucked the x-ray. And it showed a piece of bone that was chipped off where the ligament was attached in my hip. What the fuck? So that was something that was always there since I had that injury initially in Colorado. They never told me about that in Colorado and just played me out, almost like using me as best they could you guys until I got out. Shit, man? So I never was made aware of that. They did the same check and x-rays and everything on my hip until before I got drafted. So and they obviously well, paid to get them fucking x-rays. Oh, yeah. They paid, the, they paid for me to get the x-rays. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, they paid to oh, get them. Oh, in Colorado they did. They snuck them fucking x-rays that you didn't, you didn't know you were hurt. Yeah. You didn't think there was no x-rays. How, how did you I should get- look into it more. I never knew, but who knows how that would have changed everything from me. So long story short, draft day comes, and I'm sitting like everyone else, nervous. I'm sitting with my family, waiting to hear my name called or hear a phone call. Now, are you at home or are you at the event? Where are I'm you? I'm actually at home with my family because okay, I so knew you're at I the wasn't fam- going to be a first 20 picker, or first 10 pick. <laughs> you're at, you're, your agent's yeah. telling you the whole fucking time. It's not going to be. Go a- home with the family. I got you handled. Yep. What's he telling you? Well, not only that, I'm not going to be embarrassed if I fall later <laughs> with my suit on <laughs> sitting in New York or something. But he's telling me, hey, these teams like you. Uh, you should be coming up soon. You should be coming up soon. And that got that got longer and longer, older and older. And I'm like, you start getting discouraged, man. You start feeling the weight of the world on you. And now he's like, man, do I even get a shot? I just want a shot. Like, now I'm not, you know, worried about going in the first or second. Let me just get in. Oh, my God. So the intensity at that time, like, what's going through your mind? Like, oh, dude, what type so of emotions? Is it mad? It's, or it's emotions because you're, you're thinking, like, am I even going to get drafted? Or, and then if I don't get drafted, am I going to be able to go in and uh, sign as a free agent? And then with a the little thug in you, and then if I don't, do I beat my agent's ass or not? Was that oh. in there too? <laughs> Big Ron, beating the agent ass had to be in there a little bit once or twice. Hey, a lot of, a lot of uh, anger. Well, a lot of different emotions at different times. Being, the disappointment brings on a lot of... You know. But he set you up telling you you're yeah, going yeah. right he's away. he's setting you up because he's telling you all the things are going to happen and they're not, nothing's happening the way that he says. So don't mm. even build me up, dude. Don't call me. Don't say nothing right. until it's happening. Fuck. So the way I got drafted, of course I didn't get drafted on the first day. I ended up getting drafted in the fifth round. And the way I found out, all the first and second rounders, they get a phone call normally right before they draft. Right. My fucking name comes across the ticker. Get the fuck out of here. You I found out you got God. drafted by looking at the ticker. Dude, the ticker comes across. <laughs> and then my mom said, wait a minute. What? That's your name. And they announced that I got selected oh, by, my- by the team across the ticker. Then I got a phone call. <laughs> that is fam. Dude, that is a fucking fantastic yeah, story. So- Guys, this is OG vintage information. Yeah. You're not getting anywhere. So... Uh, here he is because, you know, high school, college, I mean, you're a killer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they, like, everybody's looking at you. I mean, I've seen your tape. You were no joke. So, you know, you're a confident player, plus you already know what everyone told you, and you're a man's man anyway. You know what you're all oh, about, oh, and you know you're competing with these motherfuckers all day. Regardless of what anybody says, you, you, know, you know who you are, you know what you are. And you know you're and a champion. that's the reason why you even got a chance to get where you, where you got. So there's some people that might even hate nowadays. They'll say, oh, this guy's garbage, this guy... Uh, didn't do this, didn't do that, and they don't have a clue. I've seen hundreds, hundreds of great players that Hold were on. better. Tens of thousands. Well, thousands of great players who were better than some of the big games you know that started five, six, ten years at a franchise. Right. That never got to see the field. There's a lot that goes into play with the whole deal. And I'm not just saying that because I, I, I wasn't a huge name. I'm just saying that because they're the facts. It's a fucking fact. To make it to an elite level in mm-hmm. any sport is absolutely phenomenal. 
the stats to get drafted and make it to the NFL level is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I was proud of you. You kicked some fucking ass. Yeah. And then so, all right, so after that, you, that whole day, how long did it take? You said you, the next day. Uh-huh. So draft day passes. Oh, yeah. Uh, what'd you do that night? Was you pissed off? What, 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 what was the deal? It's kind of hard to sleep. Right. It was, uh, you disappointed? Know, oh, very disappointed. And then the family's trying to, you know, be optimistic, and you're still trying to hold on to being optimistic. And then something clicked for me. Um, and what clicked for me in my head is you see these guys that get drafted late like a Tom Brady song, and they get that fire underneath. Right, correct. And that's what happened to me is you get that drive, like, regardless of what anybody says, regardless of what anybody thinks, now – I'm, 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 I'm really pushing. You know, you're really pushing to prove everyone wrong. Not only prove everyone one wrong, but be who you really fucking are. Correct. And it made you the guy who you are today. So yeah. the second day, so then the second day comes on, you see at the ticker, you get a phone call. What happens next? Oh, man. After you get the phone call, it's a huge relief. To, uh, bro. Cause, cause now <laughs> to say you, the yeah. least, a huge relief. Because <laughs> now, oh, now That's you, better than any nut you've oh, ever yeah, blasted before yeah, in your life. Yeah, I guarantee you that. Because you're already ready uh, for like the, the pinnacle. Now there's the doubt, and now there's the relief. Right. So, dude, it's a roller coaster, man. So shout out to all those guys that are uh, going to get picked, and especially this. Right, no matter man. where you get picked, man, you're part of the process. Just make the best out of it. Don't let a black cloud hang over your head. Same way with the betters. When you get one loss or something, don't let that cloud hang over your head. At least learn something from it and and, and just be resilient. Stay be positive. Resilient. Stay you know, positive. You can't, you can't cry over spilt milk. That's exactly. big shit. It's Stay focused. Happened. Right. Go on that field. Be the best you can be. Give it 110%. And if you've given it every fucking piece of you and gave it 110% and it wasn't good enough, mm. that still shows the heart of a champion. Yeah. You give it everything you got. Do and like- to me, you're a champion all day well, long. thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Pleasure to have you on the show, not only as a, a retired NFL player, but a personal good friend of mine. Yes, sir. Uh, let's get right into it. Right. Uh, I got to just say one piece of entertainment news because this hits the family. I know this is a sports show you guys are like can we see what the fuck's popping mm-hmm. and yes we'll get to the sports and show you how to make some money here in about 10 minutes however this story hits the home that you know uh jay prince rap a lot family bun all good friends of mine i you know i see myself as a family member mm-hmm. uh with them but anyway jay prince, shout out to jay prince a good solid man a good uh, friend of my me my father roy jones man of his word that's for sure. Rapper Bun B got into a shootout inside his own home with an intruder who tried to make off with his wife's luxury car. Bun B's wife, Queenie, uh, answered a knock on the door to find a masked man holding a gun on the other side. Wow. The intruder demanded valuables, uh, and Queenie offered up her Audi in the garage. Bun B heard the commotion from upstairs, grabbed his gun, confronted the intruder as he was getting into his Audi. A shootout between the two occurred, uh, and the intruder ran away, leaving his gun behind. Several hours later, the masked man showed up at a Houston area hospital with a gunshot injury to his shoulder, so Bun got his bitch ass. Mm. Shout out to Bun. Good job. Guys, like I say, you can't really take those pistols outside the house, but you got to have that pistol. You got to have those guns at the house to protect yourself. Yes, sir. That's how I grew up. You got to be able to protect you and yours, man. Somebody comes to your house, you light them up like a motherfucker. You come out, (laughs) you come to my house, and you're, I'm killing you. And I'm old school like that. I mean, uh, the law might say different, but I'm old school like that. I believe Eye for an eye, man. Absolutely. Uh, and I believe in revenge. You come in, you uh, jeopardize the safety and My well-being family. of somebody's family yeah. and their kids, yeah. then you deserve whatever you got coming your way. If you don't like that, oh, well, that's me. That You know, that's people that are born and raised the way we were. I got shot in the fucking chest several different fucking times mm-hmm. uh, in my own home. I've been intruded before, yeah, exactly. and I know exactly how it feels. It's not a good feeling. No, you know what I'm saying? No. I was a victim of a home invasion myself. You know that. Well, I'm so but glad you're here, man. Me too. So anyway, it was an attempted home invasion. The man was treating, treated at the hospital and then arrested for two counts of aggravated robbery with a weapon and one count of burglary. However, I think that'd probably be the least of his worries. Oh, yeah, especially dealing with a group of... You know, you're dealing with you real, you're into dealing a, with real people. No, you I broke mean, into basically a, a couple of yeah. the a made man's... A, a capo of the Rapalop family, knowing that's one of Jay's guys, um... I don't think this guy will make it through the county jail. <laughs> uh, He's probably PC'd up. All yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's what you call, that's what I would say, shit don't stop. I mean, it's not going to stop. You already fucked up. They know who you are. <laughs> it's like, 
I don't care if it's one year, two years, five years, ten years. To the He's going to get day. his. <laughs> hey, I guarantee you, you'll either hear about this guy no more or a hot curling iron up his motherfucking oh, something's ass. something's going to happen. Yeah, he'll have a couple missing teeth or something's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. But like I say, man, uh, I'm glad you protected your family, Bun. You got to get a couple shots off and blast his ass. You know, my yeah. favorite rappers, uh, Bun B, UGK. Yes, sir. Uh, Pimp C. Shout out to Pimp C. You know, I feel like I got the ghost of Sweet Jones in me sometimes, yeah. Big Ron. Well, I'm Sh- glad him, him, and his, uh, him and his family are safe. Yep. And shout out to the whole. Shout out to him. Rap a lot family. Shout out to his family, and I'm glad everything is fine. Let's get into some sports. What do you say? Yes, sir. I'm going to recap a little bit. Uh, 50 minutes into my podcast, uh, I told you guys Golden State is going to come back on a mission. Uh, after their game two meltdown. Yes, sir. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the result was 132 to 105. A fuck. Right it, after. That was a good spot. Perfect spot. Absolute, absolute blowout, blowout winner. winner. By the way, be looking for this new merchandising line we're going to be releasing in the next 14 days. Trust me, you'll see the video. We got a nice little commercial. You guys are going to go crazy. You got winners and losers. Which one are you? Yes, sir. This ABW bland is going viral. Absolute blowout winner. Not, not to mention Golden State. To, uh, after they caught that loss and you said they were going to come back, if my memory serves me correct, they caught a huge injury. Yes, they did. They had cousins go out and you caught that winner right after. That is correct. And a 30 fucking blowout point, 30 point blowout winner. However, we've said it before, we'll say it again. You said it was Skip. You got to pick your spots you in the NBA. Your spots. You because guess what? Spots. Clippers won the game outright last night. Yes, they did. We're going to take a little break. When we come back, we're actually going to talk about sports betting here with my boy, ex NFL player, ex XFL player. Big Ron Merck, we're going to tell you who to bet and how to get this fucking money right after the break. Yes, sir. like making money, correct? I'm Steve Stevens. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie, I'm the bookie killer. Whether you're here in town on business or to flat out gamble, don't forget, sports betting is a multi-billion dollar industry and you deserve your fair share. Call 877-220-6540 or go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com, mention this ad and get a $500 personal play absolutely free. See you in the winner circle. We'll do that another time. Yes, sir. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're tuned into the VIP Sports Podcast. I'm Steve Stevens, aka the Bookie Killer, sitting here with my fill-in co-host, Big Ron Murkison. We call him Big Murk, XFNL player, and a good friend of mine. What's going on, Ron? Nothing much, man. Ready to uh, dig in these sports? Go ahead and see what's going on in the sports world. I mean, after all, this, the money. after all, this is a sports betting show. These people are looking to get that scratch, that scroll, that provolone. That's and that's what exactly what we're going to give them. Yes, we're going to get it right into Major League Baseball, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, Major League Baseball, sponsored by the one and only MyBookie.ag. Exactly. We all know that watching sports is fun, but it's a hell of a lot more entertaining when you've got action on the games. You've heard us talking about MyBookie.ag for weeks now. And with it, by the way, it's the only bet you'll be happy with the whole year long. Created by online gaming pioneers in 2012, MyBookie vows to improve the sports betting experience where so many other brands have failed year in and year out. MyBookie.ag has delivered on its promise of excellent customer service and fast and easy payouts. With in-game live betting and the most rewarding player perks in the business, MyBookie is the place to put yourself in action and today... MyBookie.ag is offering a 50% deposit bonus on all new accounts to jumpstart your bankroll. Log on to MyBookie.ag, use the promotional code LASVEGAS, all one word, to collect on the industry's biggest incentive bonus. And make sure you follow BetMyBookie on Twitter and Instagram to get the latest odds and props as they're posted. Whether you're an expert or a rookie, you should be betting at MyBookie.ag. And remember, 
who you're betting on is just as important who you're betting with. Oh, yeah. Grab your pen and a piece of paper, guys. It's time to give out nuggets that you can't find anywhere else. Anyway, Ron, we're going to talk about home umpires, okay? In other words, when these umpires are home, uh, behind home plate, yes, sir. the home team has been winning. So in other words, ladies and gentlemen, these are home umpires is what me and Skip call them. In other words, when these umpires are behind home plate, the home team wins the game. Bruce Dreckman, 5-0. and That's unbelievable. Mark, Mark Wegner, 5-1. and Nick Lentz, 5-1. and Will Little, 4-0. and Manny Gonzalez, 4-1 and home record. 4-1 and to the under. Ladies and gentlemen, this is so big when it comes down to sports betting, especially in baseball. Skip and I told you there's several different ways to get value out of a baseball team and a baseball bet. This is one of them. You got to always look at a pitcher umpire matchup, what the umpire does behind the plate. Oh, it's huge. It's huge, especially when it comes to uh, this information, when it comes to home, home games. Uh, is, is extremely valuable. You look at the percentages right here, it's just ridiculous when it comes, comes to that right now. You got to take advantage while it's still rolling that way. And look, you guys look, Ron, got the information. If you, take, if, if you take these games behind the plate with the home team, you're 10, 15, uh, 19, you're 19 and 2 just on the top four. Just on the top you four. You could use an extra 17 units, correct? Yeah, exactly. Guys, these are real fucking stats that get you real money. Then 8 and 2 on the last two. It's, yeah. it's, that's that's, that's one, ridiculous. The only way you make money sports betting is money management and discipline. That's the formula for success. Betting one game a day, not every day, and betting the same amount of money on every game. But you got to understand, guys, when we tell you that we look for a bunch of value in baseball, like right now you got the NBA playoffs. Fuck the NBA playoffs. All the money's to be made in Major League. There's too much to choose from. Dude, there's so much to choose from. And not only that, you got baseball almost every single day. So you don't have to sit there and wait for how, however many days in between and, and do all that research. I mean, you got, you got teams playing every day. The amount of information that's available to the public um, and, av- and not available to the public is huge on both sides of it. There's just so much money to be made in baseball. The books out here, actually, that's their scariest time of the year is when baseball pops up because they can really get tuck in it. I fucking believe it 100%. Like I said, uh, this isn't the time to bet the uh, big heavy favorite. This isn't the time to bet the big heavy favorite on the run line. We talked about it early. Not only are these underdogs, uh, you know, like covering in basketball, but they're winning outright. It's the same thing in Major League Baseball. These underdogs plus 200, plus dollar 90s, they're winning all day long. Yeah, a perfect example was yesterday how the Royals won as a big dog. And, you know, they end up playing uh, against a team as a, being a minus uh, – the team was a minus 270 or something Correct. like that. You couldn't get the money. The over came in flying the other day in that game, but definitely the dog came in screaming. You got to be real careful. Yes, you and do. And know your spots. And if you do know your spots and you know what you're doing by calling 877-220-6540, we'll show you how to get that plus money to show. See, in baseball, you could hit 60%. And it comes out to literally about 76% oh, yeah. with the plus money and everything. So Huge. give me a call. Like I said, we're running a promotion right up your alley. Uh, I'm going to do something for you guys very special. Um, you want to get involved in the NBA playoffs. You want to get involved in the baseball playoffs. Here's what I'll do. Call me. I'll be doing a promotion where you'll get uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll throw Monday in for free, $99. Holy shit. I'll work with you myself, and you'll get my owner selections. I'm only going to do that this weekend because after that, we're going to the beach house and uh, focusing on this baseball. Yes, sir. But here's another reason back to baseball. Like, look at the New York Yankees. We, we discussed this also. Yankees have 13 fucking starters, 13 solid players on the, on the injured list. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Despite that, the Bombers railed for six runs in the final three innings to snag a 6-5 comeback from behind win over the Angels at Angel Stadium. Oh, yeah. Is that a game that you bet right now, Yankees-Angels? Not really. Not really. It's not a big However, money. However, there was a spot there. I mean, there sure was. Yeah. Well, it was a spot right where he hit that home run and pulled it back <laughs> and went six spot. Definitely wasn't a game to be putting your money on. You'd had a nervous yeah, fucking breakdown. Exactly. The Yankees have won six straight games. Yankees continue their West Coast swing in San Francisco uh, on Friday for three games. Giants have three straight wins and are 5-1 and one to the under and their last six games. You want me to go back over that again? Oh, you, you have to see that one. I mean, you have to be really sharp to see that one. Ladies and gentlemen, the Giants are 5-1 and one to the under in their last six games. Write huge, that down. Huge. So, you know, that's a nice little streak that you might want to get on. Giants under. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals. 
St. Louis, I mean, what, what, you like St. Louis? I like St. Louis because they always find a way, no matter how to lose seasons, your money. Yeah, I hate the motherfuckers. <laughs> well, at the beginning of the season. <laughs> but somewhere in the middle, they always have that pocket. Yes, they where do. They, where they get you paid. As a sports better, they do have their pocket throughout the year. But oh, they're yeah. not consistent by any means oh, necessary. Oh, no, no. If you're, if you're not in pocket with this team, you bet against them you lose, you bet on them you lose. Exactly. They're just like the Chicago Cubs. They'll you fuck know, you really you gotta, good. You got to know your product. Yes, you do. Cardinals completed a sweep, by the way, over the division rivals, the Milwaukee Brewers, for the fifth straight win overall. So St. Louis is 10-1 and one straight up at home. Their last 11 games, that's, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. No, they don't. They're 10 out of their last 11 games at home. They're fucking hot as a pistol yes, when you sir. get them out there in the loop. You know what I mean? So be looking for them St. Louis Cardinals in St. Louis. Uh, they will be favorites this weekend at home, obviously, Awful. against the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds, however, 18-5 and five to the under on the year, ladies That's and gentlemen. That's gigantic. 18-5 and five to the under. So if you're betting the Reds the entire year and that's all you're betting is the Reds under, you're up 13 units. Oh, wow. Don't tell me you've been betting the under and the Reds all year long, guys. These are fucking things that only me will bring and expose and bring to the surface and allow you guys to get paid. Mm. Remember, it's my gray for your payday. You deserve to win. Like I said, don't let these casinos get the money. You know, don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. There's more money in sports betting than any other investment in the fucking world, ladies and gentlemen. There's no money in the stock market. There's no reason. There is money in the stock market, but if you want to get up at five in the morning and grind for eight hours, it ain't worth your fucking time. There's more money to be made in sports betting than any other investment in the world, and I want to make you a second income. Matter of fact, spend that $100 bill. I'd be willing to bet you money that I'll make you money, more money in that four days during my promotion that you do in your day job. There you go. How about that? I'm guarantee-ing you that you sign up for $99 for the four days. I'll make you more in those four days than you do at your job, or I'll give you a week free. Dude, that's a ridiculous deal. I want to take care of my people, Ron. I'm in a good mood. You see, we've been winning. The absolute blowout winners are flowing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been going, I mean, and I thank you. I mean, you've been meeting all my clients. How many clients you been with in the last fucking 60 days? Oh well, let's God. add March Madness and how many clients you been in the last 90 days, Ron? Oh, my God. Yeah. I can't, you know, even, can't even count. Those nights with you and Skip. Hey. <laughs> I can't even you, count. You're I Skipper's mean, number one gun. You're oh, his yeah. ace. You're his motherfucking main motherfucking man. The fact that you can roll, you've got to be a oh, superstar dude, to roll have, with the Skipper. Yeah, you do have to be a superstar to roll with him. You on your first or second liver? <laughs> Definitely second rolling with him. <laughs> but however, however, man, it's just amazing. It's, it's, it's like being in a movie dealing with Skip and you, man. Hey, so to one actually about see these things stuff. happen, people don't believe some of the shit you say, yeah. and, it's, and it's real. Yeah, yeah, so well, see, to yeah. see it in it being real, it's People just talk crazy. about it. They act like they do it. But we're actually in the casinos. We're actually flying people into town, mm-hmm. guys that are betting anywhere from ten to 100000 a game, and we're making millions of dollars, Ron. Yes, sir. That's all there is to it. I mean... You've collected, it's not even a, don't want to get nobody I've, in trouble. I've, You've collected. I've, I've, I've collected and I've got to protect. So <laughs> it's always good to be a part of uh, when you're getting paid and just fucking money makes shit easier, God to be honest. Right it does. Absolute. <laughs> and for the clients as well, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's a lot easier when we only have to worry about going to dinner and getting drunk with the guy yeah, exactly. rather than, you know, explaining the $50,000 loss and exactly. it's 9 o'clock at night, there's no other games to play, but... You live to see another day. Money management, discipline. Yes, sir. St. Louis Cardinals, like I said, look out for them, guys. They're hot as a pistol. More importantly, Cincinnati Reds under. Write that down. Arizona Diamondbacks at the Chicago Cubs this weekend. Uh, that's going to be a series that you might want to watch. Uh, sports betting, uh, is it good value? You tell me. Arizona Diamondbacks have been on fire. fire and yeah. they have been getting good money as well, guys. Uh, this, the bookies really haven't dialed in the Arizona line yet No, because uh, no one really knows their team. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they've done it on the road, winning three in a row and eight of their last 10 games. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, Arizona Diamondbacks are on fire, winning eight of their last 10 games. And traveling on fire in, in MLB. Three in a row on the road. Skip said it before. Huge. He'll said it again. Uh, if you can't win on the road, you can't win championships period. Yes, sir. You got to win on the road, and that's exactly what they're doing. Diamondbacks are 7-2 and two with a, uh, one game remaining on their 10-game road trip. Uh, I think Arizona heads back for a uh, weekend against the Cubs. Yeah, Chicago Cubs. Okay. Uh, here's some trends, okay? Chicago is 7-1 in their last eight games. Write that down. Wow. 
Chicago is 5-2 and two to the under in their last seven games. And the game they're playing right now is at 0-0 in the sixth, fifth inning. So you got to look out for that Chicago Cubs under. There's a lot of money to be made on them, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Uh, yes, Chicago 5-2 and two to the under in their last seven. Arizona 6-2 and two to the under in their last eight games. So uh, if you took Chicago in Arizona uh, in their last, let, let's say, 14 games, you went 11 and four. Wow. Could you use an extra nine units, 10 units? And there's a trend right there, man. I mean, I've been around a lot of betters. Every, almost every better I hear, the majority of them always talking over, over, over. That's all I hear. Favorite coming out and of the people. over. The favorite and the over. Come on, get smart, get wise. There's a time, bet what pays you, not what you like. Not only that, but uh, these totals are killing people in the NBA. Oh, yes, sir. You guys tell me out there you're killing these totals. You can lie to me. Don't lie to yourself. Oh, yeah. The sports book don't lie. Don't lie to yourself. They're collecting more money these playoffs than they ever have before. Remember that. It's the reason why New Jersey's revenue is all over 50%, almost half of Vegas, Nevada's. Especially that quick. That quick, dude. (laughs) If your state does not take legalization of marijuana and sports betting, something is fucking wrong with you. The state will have put all the money to the schools, the roads, cut our taxes down, and make America great again, huh, Donald? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some over-under uh, trends. First, I want to talk about some hot over teams, uh, home and away. I mean, Ron, you know in baseball who's hot at home. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've discussed that several times. Uh, who do you, who's one of the hottest teams at home in, in, in baseball? Well, one of the hottest teams at home is... Just, just who you brought up recently. Baltimore, Baltimore motherfucking or- Orioles. And like you said, the On Royals, the over, on the over, on, on the over. On the overs. These on are the hot overs. over teams yeah. right now, ladies and gentlemen. Write this down. I know you guys are looking for golden nuggets. Because I thought you were going to say Baltimore at home. I was like, no, oh, the no, no, over. No. Over Yes, yeah, sir. So the, write this down, at you guys at home. Uh, these are stats that you're going to need, especially in baseball. These are teams that are hot to the over. They're scoring yes, a lot of runs. Baltimore. 13 and 3 to the over. Huge. Would you like an extra nine units? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the Royals, 9 and 2 to the over. That's something else. So, guys, there's no sense of betting Baltimore or looking to bet the Royals. You bet them. Now, guys, this is whether they're at home or on the road. So, we're talking home. They're scoring home here. runs and they're giving up runs. So, we're talking home here. The two teams. Home who, here, guys. Home it, overs. The two top teams right now to bet in baseball in overs is Baltimore and KC. So yes, sir. those are the two top teams. Now, away... Uh, Did you uh, notice something else about those two teams, Steve? What? They're both garbage. Yes, they are. <laughs> Kansas City is... <laughs> fuck- hey, no disrespect to those I can't fans, even believe they won garbage. a World Series in the last decade. Oh, it's yeah. fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. yeah, it is mind-blowing. But I, I just want to correct myself. These are the, the teams that I told you with Baltimore and KC. They're, they're only hot to the over at home. home. I said exactly. they... Bay, I, I made a mistake and said they... Bay. I'm going to tell you who's good away. Uh, Seattle, 11-3 to the over on the road. Good team. Uh, New York Mets, 11-3 to the over on the road. Wow. Oakland, 7-2 to the over on the road. And all me? three of those are decent teams. Absolutely. <laughs> so, guys, games that you want to bet over on the road is Seattle on the road, over. New York Mets on the road, over. Oakland on the road, over. Once again, teams that you want to bet uh, over at home, Baltimore at home, over. Royals at home. That's over. beautiful. You gave two teams that are clear on the. So, guys, if you don't know shit about sports betting, uh, just make sure you bet the over on Baltimore at home, mm-hmm. uh, KC at home, home, and bet the over on Seattle, New York, and Oakland when they're on the road. Yes, Real sir. simple. Uh, let's do some hot unders home and away, okay? okay. Let's talk about at home. Uh, who's on the top of the list there uh, at home with the I think, hot unders? I think just uh, their team and also their, uh, their ballpark, it's got to be San Diego. Yeah, San Diego the Padres, Padres. The Padres. I think the Padres, the, and that's, been a, what, the, that's a good, strong one. Yeah, it is. Well, it's 11-4 it's and four to the under, ladies and gentlemen. So out of 15 games, they went under 11 times at home. Remember, these are teams that you bet the under on at home. You bet San Diego, they're 11 and 4 to the under at home. You bet the Cincinnati Reds, they're 11 and 3 to the under at home. You take the New York Yankees, they're 10 and 5 to the under at home. Wow. Make sure you write that down and circle it. That's a surprise, the Yankees? Yes, it is. Oh, it, wow. I mean, 10 and 5 to the under at home. You'd think at home they'd be scoring the most oh, amount of my runs. Oh, God, especially in that ballpark. Shit has changed. You got to focus. Like yeah. I said, men and women lie, but numbers don't. No, now, they don't. these are the teams that go under away. 
These are teams that you bet the under on the road. Okay. You want to bet the Miami Marlins on the road to the under. You want to bet the under on the Angels on the road. You want to bet the under on the Cincinnati Reds on the road. Wow. Cincinnati, write this down, guys, is 18 and 5 to the under overall. Could you use 13 extra units in your fucking bank account? Does your bank account have the flu? Is your bank account smaller than mouse pussy? Do you want to make it taller than giraffe ass? 877-220-6540. If your bank account has the flu, I got the shot of penicillin that'll bring your ass right back to life. I'll give you CPR, give you mouth to mouth. You've been dealing with all these fake ass wankster handicappers. Call me. We'll give you mouth to mouth and bring you back to life. There Fair you enough? Go. There We've you done go. it Fair several enough. times. You oh, know what yeah, I mean? We, uh... we keep a breathing apparatus system right here in the office. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, guys, so teams you bet under or on the road, Miami, Angels, Cincinnati. Cincinnati is also 15 and 3 to the under that's, on no rest. That's awesome. So when the, uh, And that's on no rest. So let's move on to a little NHL Playoffs, like I said, we're not going to get in too much of the Vegas Knights because Ron and I, as Vegas boys, already went on that ramp. Oh, my God. Uh, we did our thing. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. But there is some beauty about that whole uh, the whole NHL thing. Yes, that the- money you've been talking about is there. <laughs> that paper is there. Guys, we've made history with the first period overs and the bets that we made. Mm-hmm. We actually gave it to the people in the beginning of the season and had a 70-plus percent trend hit. The entire fucking wow, that's, year. Wow, that's that's definitely that's a, gave gift. It out for it's free. a gift. It's a gift. You might it's as well call us Santa Claus because we're handing out gifts. Yeah, right? exactly. Bottom fucking line. Should be getting a lot more thank yous than uh. You guys, write this down so you guys that are betting the totals uh, can get your he- head around something. The under was 22 and 21 in the first round of the playoffs. Wow. 50 percent. Why the fuck are you betting a 50 percent bet? There's too much more money in baseball or the side. 22 to 21 to the under. So it's pretty much 50-50. Totals are not getting the job done for you. They've been, the sports book has been cleaning up Up on on these NBA totals. Bottom fucking line. Uh, Let's talk about Carolina at the New York Islanders. Okay. Carolina Hurricanes defeated the Washington Capitals uh, in game seven. The Hurricanes move on to play the New York Islanders. Now, check it out. Here's the trend. Islanders surrendered just 10 goals total. Fucking amazing. Yeah, that is they surrendered amazing. just 10 goals total in their last eight games. New York is 14 and 4 to the under in their last 18 games. That's huge. I'll tell you it again. That's huge, guys. New York is 14 and 4 to the under in their last 19 games. Make sure you get that under in New York, guys. There's a lot of money to be made in hockey. And if you spend that $100 bill, you'll get those first period hockey blowout winners if you're dealing with El Sport Show and, and how about those underdogs being 6 and 8? In the, in, the, uh, in the first round series. That's six and eight. And not only were they covering the underdog spread, but winning outright. Oh, my God. Good and, money. and 80 plus percent of it winning outright. So it's good money. Now, here's a, here's a matchup that's going to be a boss up, scrappy ass fucking game Columbus at Boston. For the first time ever, guys, the Bruins and the Columbus Blue Jackets will meet in the postseason. You heard what I said? The first time ever they wow. will meet in the postseason. Boston is the current favorite to win the Stanley Cup at plus 450. Here's a trend. Columbus scored 25 goals total in their last five games. Gigantic. Guys, if you don't know what you're fucking doing, you can get hurt. Did you hear what the fuck I said? Columbus scored 25 goals total in their last five games. That spells out danger. Yes, it does. Columbus (laughs) comes into the series with nearly 10 days of rest. Is that good or bad on a professional level? It can be good or bad, depending on your team and your chemistry. In hockey, for healing purposes, yeah, yeah, it's, for, absolutely it's absolutely a good great. Thing. Yeah. They're practicing every day like they're playing anyway. If you ever went to the Knights fucking facility, you see these hockey players, they go hard nonstop. Oh, yeah, they do. They even have two-a-days. Yeah. They, and, and game day, they have a practice. I mean, exactly. this, these motherfuckers go hard. Shout out to these hockey guys uh, bringing the fucking excitement back into the game. Now, check this out. Write this down and circle it. Columbus has won 11 of its last 12 dating back to the regular season. That's huge. They've won 11 out of their last 12 games, guys. Columbus is on fucking fire. Fire. It's going to be hard to go and get some. <laughs> They're hot as fish grease, hot as a pistol, uh, hot as the Vegas concrete in the middle of summer. And I think you remember a couple of them yes, summers sir. running around barefoot yes, on Big sir. Run. Anyway, guys, uh, understand this. With the one loss coming at the hands of guess who? 
the oh, Bruins. Oh, the Bruins. April 2nd. Wow. So that was the only loss out of their 12 games. Uh, the Bruins won two of the three regular season meetings against Columbus Blue Jackets, guys. It, they're they're 2018-19, all of which came over the final three weeks of the year. Wow. So uh, Columbus, a team that's scoring their ass off, the run fire, uh, they've won 11 out of 12, but the only team that beat them out of 11 out of 12 was the, the Bruins, and the Bruins won two out of three. So of you're that. basically saying it's going to be a great matchup, and you just got to know when to pick your spots. They just beat, they just beat them two out that. of three just recently. Oh, wow. So, like I say, uh, like I said, you got to know what you're doing. Call and take advantage of my promotion. I'll show you how to get that scratch, that scrolla, that pro below. NBA playoffs, guys. Tuesday's favorite went 4-0 and straight up and 3-1 and against the spread. These are NBA playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. Wednesday's underdogs went 2-0 and with the Jazz covering in their loss to Houston. <laughs> and the Clippers won outright at Golden State. That's what you talk about knowing your spots. Those swings and when you predict them is crazy. Yeah, because you swing right, uh, you're going to swing right into some money. <laughs> Otherwise, your bookie's going to be swinging right from your nuts, taking every single dollar that you have. And guys, the, yeah, the NBA's infamous for, for brutal, robbing you guys. Brutal. Yeah. The books are cleaning up on totals right now. Don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. Yes, Call sir. Steve Stevens. I'll fucking partner up with you and show you how to get this money. Uh, here we go. Uh, like I said, Favorites are 22 and 14 in the playoffs so far. Mm -hmm. So the favorites are getting the job done. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're betting every favorite, uh, you know, you're up about six, seven units right now. Seven, yeah. eight with juice, seven units. Not too bad. But no one wouldn't have bet that favorite and then catching the, I mean, the dogs winning outright is what, what's really amazing. It's what, if you're picking your spots, how you're exactly. collecting gigantic money on it. Exactly. Guys, take our advice. Stay the fuck away from these totals right exactly. now. Exactly. Don't even worry about picking your spot. Just stay away from it. Exactly. Uh, the under is 22 and 16 in the playoffs so far. So just a slight edge. If you bet every game under, you're up four units. Mm -hmm. Four more units than you're up now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. the slightest little... Uh, guys, remember, you're trying to hit over 66%. At 66%, you're winning twice what you lose. Exactly. That's what I always tell guys. Losing's part of the business. As long as I win three games to every one I lose, have you ever had a problem going six and two, Big Ron? No, ever. No one has. Ever. This Actually, is, when you're hitting like that, man, you know you're, you're, you're in the promised land. The money's coming in. This is possibly the best Eastern Conference semifinals in a long time as far as watching the game, drinking beer, and eating chicken wings. Oh, yeah. From a sports betting perspective, it's shit. It's yes. sloppy. I've had a sloppy Joe that was cleaner than these motherfucking yes, games. Sir. You know what I mean? Yeah. You never know what's going to go on. Any teams in the NBA you particularly like, who's going to win the championship, Ron? I don't have anyone I particularly like. It's just tough to deal with. It's tough in the West to deal with Golden State. I'm having some issues with Houston right now uh, from oh, their Toronto. inconsistencies. Oh, my God. Toronto, 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 motherfucker. Toronto is definitely a surprise. And another team that's hard to deal with, in my opinion, just my opinion, the damn Bucks. The Bucks are proving that. I mean, they're just hard to beat, man. Who do you think's gonna be? Uh, what do you think's gonna be harder to deal with? The Bucks are watching Drake at all the playoff games in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to deal with with Drake. I mean, oh, it's, man, hey, just, no offense to Drake. Like, what do you Shout mean, out to boy. Drake. That's hey, our boy. Shout out to Drake, man. Watch the game, man. You're man, standing up and I, shit, man. I'm let not me, that guy that's into uh, watching all the hugs and you shit. You know what I mean, yeah, man? Come just, on, dude. Let him just play the game. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like, they, it's like they got to get his approval before they leave the uh, arena. That's I mean, I boy. love you, Drake. King I'm of fucking Toronto. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's part of the rap -a -lot family, hey, too. Shout out to Jazz Philly, Prince. Philly, be very careful with that series, man. Philly, Philly's going to have their hands full. Well, to, and that's just my opinion. That Well, that's your opinion. That's probably Skip's opinion, too. But yeah. uh, unfortunately, the Eastern Conference semifinals, you hit it on the head, Toronto Raptors have to take on the Philadelphia uh, 76 Yes. Game one Saturday uh, on ABC. Uh, trends, Philly has four straight wins against the spread. Toronto is 5-1 and one to the under in their last six games. So for all you guys out there, um, rather than look at the side here or debate whether Toronto's going to win or Philly's going to win, I'd have to say the solid play here is on the total oh, yeah, without any go. shot over there. There you go. Okay? There you go. Let's move on to Boston and Milwaukee. And uh, who do you like on that uh, on that matchup? Uh, I'm going Milwaukee all day. Okay. Um, there's still going to be some spots. Boston's going to get the money uh, sometimes here, but um, I'm definitely going 
Milwaukee. That's just my opinion. Um, as I get more information, the spot on when to take them or take the other side, of course, uh, uh, Steve and, uh, and me and, and Skip, we're going to get together on that side of it. Well, um, I, I'm just going to tell you like this. Uh, you know, each team has to have key performers step up or, mm-hmm. you know, they're both mediocre. Okay, mm-hmm. but I'm going to give you some trends because Milwaukee's a powerhouse and Boston's one of those teams where you got to pick your spots too. Exactly. They'll lose you a lot of money in Boston if you don't fucking, they don't cover that. They much. don't cover that often. So here's the trend. It's right when you say that, you're thinking, listen, right when you're thinking about their season, remember mm-hmm. this is playoffs. Mm-hmm. Boston 7-1 and one against the spread in their last eight games. Yep. They snuck that shit in there. Yeah, it's a they team did. that you're not thinking because they're not pounding people out. Their wins aren't fucking exciting. And their spreads uh, are different. Their they spreads shoot are different. way too many fucking threes. Yeah, yeah. They're hard to watch. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I said, but to their... But there's a reason why things happen. You look at one of those games. They weren't going to cover that spread, and all of a sudden, uh, the other team throws the ball out of bounds, and they end up with possession. Now they're playing the foul game because there's seconds left on the clock. Correct. And they end up covering the spread. There's things like that. See, uh, uh, most of you guys are trying to handicap out there. You don't think about those different things that happen. You Correct. don't think about the realistic or the or the or even the things that can happen from a negative standpoint. But this happens every year. Not to mention having access to players, coaches, and what's going on in the yeah, locker room. Exactly. So there, there's there's a lot that comes with those games. I, we brought this up in the last podcast with me and Skip. You bring it up to me all the time. There are so many variables that are involved with these NBA games. You got to be in the know, and when you're in the know you're going to end up in the money more well, often than not. Listen, if you're looking at these guys trying to handicap like these wannabe handicappers sitting in their fucking mm-hmm. underwear acting like they're me, all you're going to do is look at a trend. Boston 7-1 against the spread. Uh, the Bucks have won four straight against the spread. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless you actually have information with the players, the coaches, the atmosphere, seeing what's going on, having a relationship with actually the NBA itself, you ain't going to know what the fuck is going on. All you're doing is guessing. Yeah. And don't guess. Exactly. Don't, don't gamble with your money. We've taken the gamble out of winning. Yeah. Makes I, w- <laughs> I want to I know how many people are going to lie. I mean, there's some guys out there who really did it. In the last Golden State game, like you said, how many people are going to turn around and lie and say that they knew they would lose that game exactly. outright? Exactly. Coming so off a 30-point win. But how about my boy over there in Portland just splashing my man with the three-point, oh clowning the fuck out of him, huh? Dude, that's history. That's going, that's going, that's right. going down in history. Oh. That was beautiful. Because he sits up there and he dribbles at from 30 Clowning feet. Him. 30, Looking 30 right something at him. feet out, 30 feet. Yeah. Clowning him. It was ridiculous. Anyway, pop that three. <laughs> pop that three, wave bye-bye. I'll catch you later. Tell your girl to call me. I love that. I actually love that. I don't think he was being disrespectful when he did that. Um, but there was a lot of shit talking going on in that series. Yes, there was. There was a lot of things going on and things being said. And you know what? You got to have that swagger. Some people say yes, it's, you do. It's, it's too much. You got to have a swagger about it. If you know someone like Litter, you don't see him actively talking crap through the whole game. But when he, he's a sharpshooter. He's Correct. a sniper. He's a sniper. Goddamn right so he is. So when he shot that sniper shot off at the end, oh. he let him know, hey. All right, see ya. All that stuff you were talking, see you later. Gonzo, like I said, moving exactly. on to the next round. Congratulations, guys. You kicked fucking ass. Now, uh, a team that I actually can't stand watching, Houston. Uh, Houston is awaiting <laughs> on Golden State Warriors, up 3-2 on the Clippers. Obviously, we're pretty sure it's going to be Houston and Golden State. Here's yep. the trend. Over the past two seasons, the Warriors are 9-4 and four against the spread in the playoffs after either losing their previous game straight up or winning by fewer than 10 points, covering by a whopping 9.3 points per game. Sound so coming of. off this loss, do they come back and pound them like they did the game before, like I said? That's a good question. I don't know if they still have that fight that, like they did in game there's, two or three. There's, there's going to be information coming off that last game that they have to play that's going to impact uh, what it looks like for the first game with Houston. That is correct. Yeah. Um, Houston, uh, they have the total way too high on Houston all the fucking time. All the time. Uh, like I said, I've even got caught in the fucking spider web myself. <laughs> got bit by a goddamn spider and ate a fucking live. Uh, Houston, the, the, the line's way too high on Houston. You want to take those games under, and I'm sure that first game in Golden State in Houston will have a high fucking total. Yeah. Be That's careful. That optimistic. Be careful. Yeah, be, be very careful. That's that optimistic uh, viewpoint from most fans. Most fans, you always think, and I said this for years, you said it also, you helped me realize again, most players think of, oh, the guy making the big shot, 
so-and-so, Durant, the big name making this shot. All you can visualize is them making shots. Correct. But you don't visualize those misses. You don't no, visualize you don't. those turnovers. No, you don't. You don't visualize that good defense that gets played on somebody. That is correct. So That, that hot three-point shooter that just keeps shooting and missing. Exactly. Shooting yourself out and right out the shooting. fucking game. Exactly. Anyway, Damian Litter and Portland waiting on uh, Denver and San Antonio to finish battling it out. Here's a question, Big Ron, okay? If Golden State wins, they play Houston, right? Mm-hmm. Can you see Houston knocking off Golden State? This year... And by the way, Golden, gonna, State, go. Golden State will have home field advantage. I'm, I'm on the fence on this, to be honest. But Just I'm gonna, as a person. I, as a person, I'll, I'll put it out there. Can they? Yes. They, they definitely can. From the talent level and what Harden does, and, and Harden, all respect to you, you found this little niche where you go in and get contact and these fouls all the time. Yeah. The last three, four years. If they but get then co- you bet 100000 on him, and he has the worst game. Remember, and, do you remember last year? Oh, my God. We don't want to bring up last year's playoffs, oh, right? Oh, no, no. He, he didn't even show up if for that the last wasn't fixed, of games. I, I, yeah, yeah, see, that's, that's called the power of information. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, now with them losing two games, with Golden State losing two games to the Clippers, and the Clippers are no, by no means a bad team. Lou Williams had an amazing year this year. I would have to say they have a chance. Realistically, I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. I, would, I would say Golden State in, in seven. I'm going seven. On this game, I'm saying Golden seven. State. I'm going Golden State in seven. You might have a different opinion. Big Ron's going seven in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I see going. Uh, I see this series ending before seven, no doubt about it. However, you guys got to add in TV time. Exactly. In this round of the playoffs, you have all the political, all the money, and all the predetermined bullshit that yep. we're not in control of. Oh, so don't fucking money. forget that either, guys. These are the rounds that they want TV time, so they'll they'll. That's let it a good question. How mi- how much does each broadca- broadcast make? make? A lot. Exactly. They want it to go to game game seven. They make yeah. a lot off sponsors, my friend. Exactly. Now check this out. If Golden State gets eliminated at some point, Kevin Durant's a free agent, right? You see him returning <laughs> to Golden State if they don't complete the three P. No, you heard it from me yeah, here yeah. first. I don't see it here. <laughs> I second the emotion. No. You know I, what? He wants to be like the Lone Ranger. He wants to find a little niche that he can call his own. So he says he doesn't care about legacy, but come on now. What player in, in their mind that's an elite player that's not worried about their legacy? What player do you know? Even if they don't say it, deep down inside somewhere, you're worried about what your kids are going to see later. You're worried about how the fans see you. Right. You're worried about what your history is. No doubt about it. And I think it. he wants to prove the same thing that a Kobe wanted to prove when he was out without Shaq, that he can, he can do it on his own or do it without as much as he has right now. Well, not only that, but he to me, he's out of his element. He's mm-hmm. over there in Oakland. Mm-hmm. He's getting ejected. You know, mm-hmm. he's acting like he's hard, like mm-hmm. he's a gangster a little mm-hmm. bit. He's mm-hmm. beefing with Draymond Green. Mm-hmm. I, there's some tension there with the players, and Dur- mm-hmm. not just Durant, because he's a good mm-hmm. dude. But he doesn't really fit in in that East yeah. Oakland gangbang set. Man, I go play for a square-ass team somewhere. So go get on Houston or something. Uh, <laughs> where, where do you see him going? I Who? see him. I think, I think the two best places for him to go – um, or actually, he's thinking about going. Number one is going to be New York. I think New York, for this reason. Fits him good? They're making a huge play for two people. L.A. needs to make a play for somebody. <laughs> I know that yeah. for sure. But Kyrie Irving and Durant are really close friends. Yep. For those who don't know. They, they get along great. And Kyrie has been, hasn't been that happy with Boston here lately. Right. As he's actually shown and been short on comments expanding upon whether he's going to stick there. He don't forward. look right over there. No, he don't look right. But if you think about a team that's been waiting forever, forever to get big names and big lights in a big city in a huge media mecca and finally come out, out the doldrums uh, onto the top, it's the New York Knicks. No doubt about it. So this is the perfect time when you're getting all these big name free agents coming out. They got Kyrie Irving, who's already sort of has some type of connection with the New York Knicks. Um, as far as talking about where he might go in the future. And then you got Kevin Durant. Now, Kevin Durant can go with Kyrie and still be the biggest name on that franchise right. and make a winner. If they bring a championship to a place like the Knicks, is huge. So I think number one is the uh, Knicks. Number two, now you're starting to talk about the Lakers-type uh, uh, level. Um, and the Lakers are going to get a big name, or two. Lakers need a different coach. Yeah, yeah, Lakers need to get their shit together. They need yeah. to get a beast. Who do you think the Lakers could use to win it right now? Who's oh. making magic in the NBA? We talked oh about it earlier. Oh, my God. 
who's making magic in the NBA? Yeah, who, who could coach Lakers and get the job done? I mean, like I said, the that's day, a good question because that's a unique job. You got you got you have to fit. You have to fit in there yes. big time. The LA you can't crowd. just be a great, great coach. You got to fit in there. So we'll, we'll see what that is. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a question that we're going to have to talk about in the future. Inquiring minds want to know, but we both agree Durant will be out of there quick as a motherfucker. No shadow about. Yeah. I, I say win or lose, he's gone. So you believe it too? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. awesome. Like I said, guys, there's a lot of money to be made right now. Doesn't necessarily mean you need to bet NBA. Can and we you, bet that? What? If Durant's going to stay or not, because we need uh, to bet. If fantasy. you're telling me that, I need to bet it. <laughs> there's probably something on the fantasy book somewhere. I don't fucking know. But uh, remember, we don't bet prop bets. We prop our nuts right oh, on the yeah, bookies' chin. True, you know what I mean? That's true. So we ain't into all that shit. But you, once you again, might, ladies. You might have convinced me, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole idea, right? Paint the picture and then produce. Yeah. That's what we do on the phone. Yes, sir. Paint these guys a picture, let them know we're the best, and then show results. Yes, sir. That, well, I can show you a hell, a hell of a lot better than I can tell you. You call 877-220-6540. Take advantage of that $100 promotion for four days to deal with me personally. You're going to get on my games, and you and I will turn $1,000 into $5,000, $10,000 into $30 or $40. There we go. There comes a time where you deserve to shine. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, there's no sense of betting these NBA totals when these casinos are cleaning the fuck up. Look at an NBA side. Look at something that's going to absolutely pay you. We've given you several different trends in baseball to, to get paid on. Follow those fucking trends and make that fucking money. If you're not going to call me and you're going to be stubborn, at least follow the trends that I give you. There's more money to be made in sports betting, more now than ever. It's a trillion dollar industry now, and it's doing nothing but getting bigger. I will do my job and help you guys. It's my job to consult with you guys. Remember, I'm not a bookie. I'm a bookie killer. Mm -hmm. You hold his arms behind his back. I'll punch him in the face, knock him out, go through his pockets, (laughs) and we'll split the fucking money. That's how I get down. Once again, we want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for stopping hey, by, Big Bird. It's been more than a pleasure to be here for, uh, for you, to be here for you fans. And for you fans out there, don't just be a fan. Don't be a pretender. Be a contender. Go get your money. Go get paid. Um, sports is bigger now than it's ever been. And a shout-out to all you fans out there. I hope you get the right pick on your NFL teams and, uh, and just keep supporting your team no matter uh, where they are. Shout-out to you guys. Thanks for having me and respect. Man, anytime, man. Any boy, and don't forget, you know, you run these streets of Vegas. We got that little Vegas oh, connection I'm out here too. On the run. You yes, know what sir. I mean? So <laughs> once again, man, I appreciate you stopping by. Mm-hmm. They wanted you back by popular demand. Uh, Skip, we Thank love you. you. Me and Skip will give you a podcast as well. I'm sure you got a lot of work to do with Big Skip. We got oh, some yeah. money to collect. Oh, yeah. So at the end of the day, guys, I want to make sure that I turn you into the best sports bettors ever. For you amateur p- sports bettors out there that don't know what sports betting is, we'll teach you the lingo. We'll show you how to get money. If money's tight, things are rough, and your girl won't sell her muff, just give me one call. <laughs> I'll make sure I take care of you. Fair enough? Fair enough. On the behalf of VIP Sports myself, we love you. It's in the middle of baseball, playoffs in hockey, playoffs on NBA. Come get a piece of this money. You deserve it. And remember, don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. Fair enough? Fair enough. See ya. It's Steve Stevens. I bust your bookie head open. Split it to the white meat. I ain't joking. Me and Dirt Bomb in the ghost float. Straight OG like that Kush I be smoking. It's way too potent for rookies to come hit it. A little white girl around, I might sniff it. Popping bub in the club, so twisted. My pops keeps telling me to go get it. So I'm at the sports book, betting big on the Clippers. I'm talking about five figures. I need a few shots of liquor. Might need another zipper if the bomb play me. Fuck around and put a half a meal on Tom Brady. When it comes to betting sports, Steve Stevens a beast. Need a certified winner called VIP Sports. I got too many felonies to ride around with my Glock. So sure to keep it since I got shot in Vegas like pot. Talk, it must be the money talking.